and welcome to Sunday, the last of our three peaks to come for today. So today we've arrived at the bottom of Ingleborough and we're going to climb 723 metres to the top. Then if you want, you can come back down. Yeah. Three peaks, third day, last peak. As always, every rep we do counts as 10 metres, so 73 reps. 730 meters and work at your own pace take the options uh, I'm gonna do it with you uh, so Ingleborough starts with an I so the first exercise is what we call inchworm yeah come down to the floor walk forward into a plank position with your wrists under your shoulders body in a straight line walk back stand up yeah so let's get this off and running four reps to do today for this to start with. Let's go. Go on down. Walk forward, body in a straight line, just hold it there, brace the abs, walk back. Stand up, remember you can bend the knees if it helps you come down. Abs are always brace the legs. You can keep the legs straight, the flexibility in the hamstrings, that's fine. Two to go. With us yesterday, you might remember the end run into the net, back your back into the net. We're going to do that again today. We've got four, four runs. There and back, that's as one. So four times. If you want to play any shots when you get to the net, or when you get to a corner of any of the ends, it's fine by me. Let's just get the foot pan. So four reps, you ready? To the net, diagonally back, into the net, straight back, diagonally forward. Pressing out of that capital N. That's one rep. So remember, if you want to play any shots, whatever it may be, as you come into the net, you can go diagonally back, back to the low backhand, into the net, another shot if you want, come back. So it's your choice. Two more times. In, diagonal, forward, back, diagonal. We've got one more rep. Go on, make every shot count now. Boom. Whatever you're playing, whatever you're playing, what shot was it? Gonna finish with a big smash. Good job. We're down on the floor, we're gonna work the butt, what we call a glute bridge. Feet hit with the part. Shoulders relaxed, chest open, arms down. Squeeze the butt, lift up, six reps. Six reps, 60 meters closer to that summit. Let's go. Squeeze the butt. And get the body in a straight line at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're back on our feet. L, a long jump. Make sure you've got enough room. We're going to jump forward, land, 180 turn. That's one rep. We jump back where we came from. Turn. Yeah, one rep, two rep, three rep, four reps all together. We've got six long jumps. The further you jump, the more you're gonna be working. If you only want to take a small jump, that's fine. If you don't want to jump turn, you just want to turn around and then do the jump, fine. It's your workout. So we've got six. When you land the key, land with your feet, about shoulder width, and go into a squat by bending, the knees, we absorb the load into the muscles and keep it out of the joints. We want to condition the muscles. So six reps, you ready? Use your arms if you want. One, two, three, four. Go on, move on. There's your six. Good. E. Remember the E runs that we did yesterday? One, two, three, one, two, three. Four runs forward, one, two, three, one, two, three. Four runs forward, get to the top of the E. Eight runs back. So you're tracing out that letter E. Four reps. forward, 
the top part of the E, then all the way back to the start. Eight, seven. Second rep. I don't know if that was an E or not. That four reps, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! We're getting there. Next one's a tough one, but it's a great conditioning exercise for the whole of the body to pull feet. We're gonna do a squat to keep our posture. You can either jump the legs back or you can walk them back. You can walk them in. We've just got five reps. Okay, go at your own pace. Three, two, one, go. Keys to brace your abs if you're jumping out there. But even if you're walking them out, still make sure that you hold them out there. One more for five. Good. Whew. Oblique crunches to the right. Muscles at the side here. Help you twist. Obviously, you use that a lot in tennis. So we're gonna go over towards the left side. Hands out, put the knee out. Elbow out, and I want you to think shoulder towards opposite knee. Try and keep the knee out rather than pulling the knee in. Push five to this side. One, two, three, four, five. Well done, don't worry, we're gonna do the other side later. Drops five to the Right side, just this way. Rear stepping lunge alternating. Step back, step back. Long stride, remember chest up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I said we're gonna do the other side, so back on the floor. The leg out, and away we go. Ready with your five, shoulder towards the knee. Lift up and across. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, come on back up. Uh, I am. All right, you. Come to get exercise with you. So guess what? You stands for up to you. Pick your favourite exercise, whatever that may be. Don't care if you make it up. Do 10 repetitions, and that's 100 metres close to the summit because we're nearly there now. So it's up to you. Whatever exercise you want to do, it could be one we've done, one we haven't done. It could be playing some imaginary tennis shots. 10 repetitions, in your own time go. One of my favourites is press ups. But this is your choice. When you're ready, just go. Keep it going. Have you done? Are you nearly done? I've only got two more exercises. Ingleborough, two Gs. First G was for glute bridges. This one is. This time we've got six reps. So six times lifting up towards the ceiling. You ready? Squeezing the butt. Here we go. Six, five. Drive the heels into the floor. Four. Squeeze the butt as a lift. Three, two, one more. Oh, good. So we're just 100 metres from the summit now. 30 seconds of work equals 100 metres of height. H, high knee runs, 30 seconds. Are you ready? On the spot, on your marks, get set, go. Try and get your knees up in front of the hips. Now if you need to take a recovery, just go into a knee lift. And then when you feel ready, you can go again. We're halfway there. If you can, keep going, keep going. We're about 10 metres away from the summit. Not long now. Last five minutes, can you sprint? Who's gonna get there first? 
handle grip, isn't it? Oh, where's that rewarding drink at the top? And no, mum and dad, it's not the wine yet. You can get that one to get back down. Oh, recover. Have a drink. Well done. Now, if you've just been climbing to the top every day, that's absolutely superb. If you wanted more of a workout and you've been coming down, then guess what? We're gonna go back down. Whichever is great work and great types of training that. So, Ingleborough from the summit, 723 meters. Back down to the bottom. Easy, eh? We can do this. Work at your own level. Get the impact out if you need to. Take recovery, turn back in. But this is it. So if we're going down reverse order, we're going to start with the high knees. So, are you ready? 30 seconds. Are you ready? On your marks. Get set. Run. Check the lights on the feet. Get used to lifting the knees up here. You can bring it down for like a second four. Bring it down into a march if you still need that little bit of recovery. Otherwise, keep it going. 10 seconds. Last five seconds, you're nearly there. Glute bridges, six times. I got your back. So hit width. Remember the key is to squeeze the butt, try and get the legs in line with the torso at the top. Let's go. Two. And really squeeze the butt. Three. Four. Five, six, we've done it. Okay, we're coming back up. Now you remember, up to you. What exercise did you pick before? Do you want to do the same one or have you got another favorite? 10 repetitions. Have you decided what you're doing? Assume no position, that's the word right with it. Of whatever you want. Where you go. Go keep it going, finish it off. And then we're going to come down onto the floor. Crunches across to one side. Just five repetitions. Turn the knee out. Arm out. Remember, keep the elbow back and lead with the shoulder across that opposite knee. Five reps, on your mark, set, go. One more, keep it a bit closer to the top, hold it there. And this. Alternate lunges, stepping backwards. Feet your hip width, long step back, alternating each leg. Let's do this. Eight. Seven, six, so keep going. Five, four, three, two, last one. Four. Back on the floor. It's time to run across to the opposite side. Crunch up as high as you can, sliding the ribs towards the hip. Five times, let's go. Favorite exercise, probably not yours, burpees. Drop down, jump back, jump in, stand up, or drop down, walk the legs out. Remember the key, when you're walking out or jumping out, especially if you're jumping out, as you jump out, brace the abs so when you land, the hips don't sag and you protect your back. Five burpees. I'll start with the walking one. You choose whichever you wish. Five reps, let's go. Alternate which leg walks back if you're doing the walking. If you want to do the jump, that's fine. 
more. That's your five reps. Oh. Agility. The E run. One, two, hop. One, two, hop. Four, three, two, one. Bottom, middle, top. Okay. Four reps all together. You ready for this? Try to stay light on the feet, relax the shoulders, relax the arms. And just think, control. Ready? Go. To the middle, across. To the top, across. All the way back, eight runs. Eight, seven. Go again. Drop, drop. Is that three or four? I think it was three. All right, let's go. Can go faster when you've got the coordination there, when it's sort of ingrained. Great agility, speed, footwork. All right, long jump. Jump forward, turn, jump forward, turn. Use the arms if you don't want to. Do a big jump, just do a little jump. You don't want to jump, just turn by walking. Knee when you land, bend the knees. Six reps. If you want to go further, use the arm, bend the knees more, and drive forward. Ready, here we go, go. Two more. Hold on. You'll work out your pace. Back down on the floor for the glute bridges. Six. Know what to do now. Let's go drive up the hips. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Back up on your feet. Oh, just the N and the I to go. The in of Ingleborough. Coming back down. Not long to go now. The N run. Forward, diagonal, forward, retrace. Do that four times. Our second to last exercise. Play any shots you want. Don't play shots if you don't want. Right, set, go into that net. Deck and back, into the net. Straight back, deck and forward. Good game. Careful in your room. If you want to play a shot, whoa, that's why you've got to be careful. If you want to play a shot, play whatever shot you want. Be agile, be aware. Where's that ball going? Back up your head, get back to chase it one more time. Get down your back, make your shot. Net, make your shot. Recover, net. Chase it back, chase it back, chase it back. Well done. Oh, three peaks. 40 meters left to the bottom. Four repetitions, each worms. Come down, walk out, walk back, stand up. That is it. Three days hard work. I don't know how you're going to reward yourself after this. I know how I work. <laughs> Not the kids. Orange juice, of course. Down, walk, in, stand. Four reps to finish. Come on, you've got this. It's great work. Let's go. We still keep weight full, wrist under shoulder, eyes down, body in a straight line. All right, three to go. Come on, your last one, your last 10 meters. Where's your reward? Ah, oh, just completing it, it's probably reward enough. Whew. Great work guys, thanks for everyone who's done the three days. Whether you've just been up, whether you've been up and down. That's the Hongs Bridge, 
Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge. Hope you enjoyed it and it doesn't just have to be about doing it over the weekend. All those little sequences are a great way of doing general conditioning, especially with the agility drills, you know, footwork, speed, quickness, balance. Use those as training drills. Uh, great for all ages. Modify it to your fitness level and just enjoy playing around with it. Why not create your own workout using the same principle? So, your name. How do you spell your name? For each letter, choose an exercise that begins with that. Make the exercise up if you want. It's always easy movement and safe movement. But that's, that's one of your challenges for all you guys out there, all your kids. Create your own workout. Do maybe 10 repetitions for each exercise. Spell out your name and share your workouts with us. Who knows, we may pick some and put them up as agility and conditioning challenges. So hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've had a great weekend. Enjoy what's left of it. Uh, and thanks for taking part. Catch you soon.